up guys? Welcome back Empire Motor Club. Today is a sad day. I'm going to drop off the CSL. We're going to go put the stock parts back on. Why? I don't know. I've been thinking about this decision for so long. I love this car. It's been one of my dream cars. I found it a little over two years ago. <laughs> Fixed it up. You know, I... It's been a car that I've probably driven the second most in my in my collection. It's a great little car. It's a fun, balanced, sporty, comfortable. Why do I want to sell it? I want to sell it because we're going to get a new car. We're getting a new car for a variety of reasons. We'll probably do a later vlog on that. However, if we're going to buy something, something has to go. There's no point in keeping so many cars. One, it's just too many payments. Two, parking spaces. Three, if I'm not around, Dizzy can't drive six or seven cars. It's, and she doesn't like this one. Okay, I'm not gonna blame Dizzy. Sorry if you're watching. But it, yeah, I'm, I'm a little speechless. I, I don't know what to say. It's a weird feeling letting go of something. I'm sure a lot of you know what I mean uh, when you have to say goodbye to a car, especially when you put a lot of effort, money, time into the car. I'm looking at it and it's, yeah, it's something that, something that I might regret down the line. So for those of you who don't know what this car is, this is a E46 M3 CSL. CSL meaning Coupe Sport Lightweight. There was only 1,383, some say 1,384, but less than 1,400 made. It's an extremely limited car. It's one of those iconic, legendary M cars. I've always been a big BMW fan. I've always loved M cars. When I was in college, the CSL was a dream car of mine, but in the US, we weren't able to get it. So when I came back to Taiwan, I was like, fuck, you guys have the CSL here. And that was on my list. I was looking for one for quite some time. I found one with really low KM, 22,000. Right now it's only got 24,858. So <laughs> the amount of driving that I do, very little. This car is in great shape. I had the Dr. Vanos put in. The Dr. Vanos fixed all the uh, Vanos problems. It's just a lot more sturdy, stable, you know, stronger, better. This car has the Fab Speed headers, ceramic coated, Super Sprint mids, Super Sprint rares with uh, Sport Cats. I think there are 200 cell Sport Cats. What else? Well, we've done a lot. We have carbon fiber drive shaft. I have the KW V3s. We have power flex bushings. We have amazing and beautiful Alcon brake calipers. 380 millimeter front rotors, 360 rear rotors, four pistons in the back. I didn't touch anything in the engine. No ECU tune, no SMG tune. Just left it stock. It's a beautiful car. It's a great car. Oh, and I have BBS E88s. Badass. The BBS E88s, oh. oh, it's just one of the best looking classic wheels out there. It just fits this car. It's got a nice deep dish. Oh, it's just sexy. do like a little speed and then he's gonna get into like second gear 
and then just stomp on the brakes. Just want to test out these Alcons. These Alcons are so good. They're forged calipers, lightweight rotors. Just want to, just want to see how they are. <laughs> That was better than anticipated. I'm gonna try that again. My cameraman's all the way over there. I miscalculated the distance. Stopping distance, short. So driving the SMG, I think you have to get used to. Driving the SMG is not something that's like, like a standard manual or just, you know, clunk it into the gears. It, it takes a little finesse and I think it, you have to get used to the SMG, you have to get used to the gearing, you have to get used to the shifting. Sometimes the car like wants to catapult itself, sometimes it, se it seems like it's in limbo, sometimes the car is very like jerky, so you get a lot of that uh, the, the, the jerky feel on the engine like rrr, 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 rrr. and then you know the transmission it seems like it wants to get into gear but it's not, it doesn't know if it should switch gears or not. I think those are the only faults to this car. Probably should be a manual, but I guess during the 2003 time, it was in between the modern classics and the modern cars and they wanted to mess with this, these SMG transmissions. So there was no dual clutch back then. And these semi-manual, semi-automatic transmissions were the popular things back then. And I mean, it, it is very fun. It is very fun. I mean, the car is not that fast, so I guess it does feel like a manual. However, it's not a manual. It's just certain faults to it that you got to get used to, I guess. It is what it is, right? Let's go for a drive. Wow. These brakes are fucking awesome. These brakes are fucking great. Yes, big ups to Alcon. All right, you guys are fucking awesome. I think what's really, really cool about this car is the rear boot lid. The rear boot lid has that ducktail feel. It just protrudes out a little bit. It, it has like a smooth groove and it just has like a small extension that looks really, really badass. It gives this car that extra look, that really like special look to the rear end. Back at home, in Kaohsiung, Japan. It's time to say goodbye. I'm gonna miss you, baby. We're gonna take all the car parts off, all the parts that I modified: wheels, the brakes, the suspension, the exhaust, the drive shaft, the cage. This is gonna go back to stock. And stay tuned. Peace. I don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs>